Thanks to Pocket Gamer for taking my voice yesterday. Um, yeah, BlackBerry. I didn't submit those slides to brand approval, as you might as you might uh, might have guessed. Um, BlackBerry and games is a, sounds sounds a bit weird, right? And because uh, um, old BlackBerry devices weren't really geared towards towards gaming, and um, uh, believe me, I've I've been in the I've been in mobile games in the dark ages when uh, you know we submitted something like I don't know we we did 89 builds um, for Europe and then another 24 for North America and whatnot and um, you had to submit to carriers and package it and, and round. Now we did do games for BlackBerry as well, uh, but then mobile game development at the time and distribution was 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 just painful per se. That of course has changed. Um, uh, BlackBerry because they. You know, we have this this huge backend system. Um, you know, the stuff that even the CIA you know can't crack. Um, so it was not only a question of you know designing some new hardware and uh, and, and finally getting touch right, but um, uh, it was also that change. Um, so on 30th January, finally, finally, they unveiled it, um, and um, it's on sale now in in um, uh, uh, in the UK in Canada in I think Italy it I believe it comes out in Germany next week if I'm not mistaken um, it's selling really well um, we were I think nearly sold out in in both the UK and and uh, and Canada this is the Z10 which is a full touch um, uh, uh, version I have it here if you want to play around later um, in uh, about six weeks time or so the Q10 will also come out which is one with the with the old QWERTY keyboard this is a 16 by 9 resolution, 356 dpi. Um, uh, the um, the uh, Q10 will have an aspect ratio of one by one because you can just not do 16 by 9 and still put a put a physical keyboard underneath. It doesn't doesn't really work. Um, <coughs> Now, you know, in short, this is always the slide I, I, I used when, um, uh, before the device was actually announced because I wasn't allowed to, to, to talk about the specs, et cetera. And uh, um, I did an interview with Pocket Gamer at some stage and I tried so hard not to swear. Um, and then but when he said, look, look, can't you tell us something about the specs? And I said, look, let, let's just say it's shit hot. Um, the software wise, um, the operating system is um, um, uh, derived from QNX, which is a company that also does, um, I don't know, the in-car systems for BMW and, and um, NASA is working with it and all the rest of it. I, BlackBerry acquired the company, I think, about two and a half or three years ago. Um, it runs on beautiful, plain, <clears throat> standards compliant C, um, WebKit, we... It's another new, I think, for BlackBerry. We have the most HTML5 compliant browser, I think, in the world. Uh, we score 486 out of 500 on the HTML5 test. Um, I think the, the, the best desktop one at the moment is, is Chrome for Mac, which scores about 440. Um, Safari is down at 370-odd, uh, Internet Explorer 320, whatever. Um, uh, it supports, so yeah, WebKit, Adobe Air, whatever you want, it's, it's always there. You can still, if you want to, develop in Java as well. Um, the, they have a couple of, of, of rather cool little features in the phone um, 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 itself. Flow is that, that overriding concept which actually um, 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 allows you to literally go from task to task to task, from application to application to application, rather than always having to jump in and out. Um, you know, you get a notification and then you go out and you open Facebook in order to actually see what it really is. And then you go out and you do uh, send a message. You can actually all do it from, from one thing. Blackberry Balance is, one, is something that um, um, uh, they put in for the enterprise. It basically allows you to run a firewall through the device. Um, so you have on the, on the one side, you have your workspace, so to speak. There's a, with a separate app store, which is provisioned by enterprise IT. And then... If you want to go back and um, play games or download dodgy stuff, then um, uh, uh, you do that on, on the personal side. So it's on the same device, but, you know, enterprise data can't be compromised. <clears throat> the time shift camera is actually really cool um, uh, because it allows you to, to, to literally roll back. Um, you know, you do a photo and someone always looks silly or, or, or closes his eyes or so, and um, you can actually roll back only that face and, and, and fit it in. Um, <clears throat> for the gaming stuff, though, when um, 
<clears throat> I joined the company as part of a, we sold them Scoreloop about 18 months ago. Scoreloop was a mobile social gaming platform. And they asked me to run that games stuff for them. So I said, look, you know, we're, we're not really good at this. Um, so what can we do? Now, because BlackBerry 10 is a new platform, I said, look, the first thing you guys got to do is make sure it's very, very easy to support. So we must make sure that, that the tools, engines, whatever it is, um, game, develop game developers work with are there, right? Um, because if it's easy, I have a development studio as well. If a new platform comes up and it's really hard to support, I probably will not touch it, or at least not immediately. If it's really, really easy, I might give it a go. Um, so, I mean, I've listed a few um, um, down there. The biggest one we announced last week, um, so Unity is, is currently working on, uh, on the Pro Patch for BlackBerry 10, which um, will run on um, uh, parity with, uh, with iOS and Android. Um, we're going beta, I think, probably around GDC um, and, then, and then Gold shortly thereafter. If you do develop in Unity, I've, as part of, of the, um, the deal we did with them, I acquired, I acquired, we acquired a couple of um, bulk licenses um, uh, to, work, to work with developers so that we can actually help you out with that. Um, so, you know, when you look at the developer's nightmares today, right? I mean, the first one is, is, is um, you know, no power on either OS or, or, or hardware level, which, which I think BlackBerry has... Um, um, has tackled now. Um, it runs on, uh, this is an, the Snapdragon S4, there's two gig RAM in there. Um, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a fast device, it's a beautiful screen. Um, uh, C plus based OS, etc. Et et so everything that was hard, that used to be very, very hard, if you wanted, if you really wanted to develop a game for BlackBerry, um, that has changed. It's very, very easy. Um, the folks from from Fish Labs, for instance, they um, uh, uh, you know they do the Galaxy Galaxy on Fire 2 HD, is very high end 3D space shooter. They ported it in a day, um, and that's not the whole company working on it for a day, but it's, that's one engineer working on it for a day. Now their their dev framework is 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 very clean C plus plus, so so um, um, uh, that was that was easy, but um, you know I would I would say you shouldn't take longer than a week to bring, to bring anything across. So that bit we have. And then, um, you know, more and more and more, discovery, retention, and, and monetization are, are, are the big nightmares, right? Um, <coughs> so what can you do there? And now, let me break for a second, because whatever I say afterwards, you, you have, you know, and those are the bloody basics. If you, you, you must create dreams. You know, if, if you don't, if your game isn't good, if people don't dream, you know, it doesn't work. You must create excitement. A game needs to be fun. This is, it's a bit of a long quote, so I won't read it out, but it's from, from Ilka from, from, from Supercell. He basically said, look, it must be fun to play. Otherwise, you know, don't, don't bother. Um, and you must create context. Um, you know, because social, this whole social gluey stuff, um, that is interaction in context, but you have to be in context. And let me tell you one thing, Facebook for notification aren't contextual. You know, it's, it's um, if, I don't know, if I play whatever, Zynga Poker or, or whatnot, and blast my 500 odd friends, you know, with a notification, hey, look, you know, you should do this. Or um, here's a golden egg, uh, you know, can you help me harvest my, you know, fuck off. It's not what, what, what I want to hear. Now, Amongst my friends might be 10 guys who do also play, and to them it might work, you know, because then you are in context. But, um, um, uh, uh, and all those things that are design questions, or game design questions, there's no tool in the world will help you um, to fix if you screw up there. In other words, you know, you've got to hit it out of the park. I think that's, 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 that's the one bit when we, we heard and not only at this conference, um, seems to be a running theme on, over the last six, nine months or so, um, uh, you know, the, the, the attempts to rationalize um, game development. You know, we're, we're doing entertainment here, guys. And um, if you would try, if you would have uh, said, I don't know, you know, you, you, you try to put a Tarantino movie into, into an equation, it won't work, right? It does not work. Try and 
take a De Niro performance and um, uh, uh, and say, okay, you know, you got to do this and you got to have that smirk and you need a beauty spot here and then it works. We'll make a hundred million dollar movie. No, you won't. So that's essential. Having said that, <laughs> now how will how will users find you? And um, uh, so on the on the on the BlackBerry side, we launched what ten days ago or so, two weeks ago. Um, and when we launched those handsets, there were seventy thousand apps in the store, um, thirty five percent or so of which um, of which games, um, you know, which is not as you know, it's not seven hundred thousand as yet, but. You know, if you're in a big stadium with seventy thousand people, try and find your friend. It's not that e it's not that easy either. So how do you do this? Now, there's App World. I actually need to change that slide because it's now called BlackBerry World, um, uh, which is our app store, and it it works pretty much like 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 most app stores. We are, however, um, my team and the and and we have a dedicated marketing person for that store. We work a lot. We, we we control the the curated parts of it. So when it, when it comes to features, etc., um, there are categories. There's all the top free, top paid, top grossing, new. Da -da 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 -da. Um, we are a little more proactive in working with developers when it comes to when it comes to you know working together on 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 you know be it features on on promotional activities, etc., than other other people do. And again, it was. When I stepped in there um, uh, uh, 18 months ago, I thought, you know, that's actually really easy, right? Um, uh, uh, Apple is pretty much a fortress when it comes to, to, you know, trying to speak to them. Google can be very, very hard to reach. That's an easy one for us to solve. You know, it's my phone number will be up there if you have an issue, give me a call. Um, uh, so that is, that is step one. We have, and this is the company... Um, we we sold to BlackBerry. Um, uh, we have a games app which is um, scroll up at the back. Um, it allows you know it, 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 it has the whole set of social tools and in inverted commas, peer-to-peer -peer challenges, achievement systems, online leaderboards. There's a safe state feature in there. Um, uh, uh, Etc. The app is anchored on the home screen, um, and um, uh, which again, I mean, imagine that you know a BlackBerry which has a games app on 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 the home screen that was probably unthinkable in the past, um, and if you open it, the 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 main feature is an is an is an it's like a, almost like a Facebook wall style activity stream of what your friends are doing um, in in the gaming side, which provides you additional discovery routes. Um, so, but even if you have them, you know, how do you keep them? And there's two, there's two bits that we can put into the mix here, which, which, which no one else can. There's, there's BBM, which has arguably helped the company survive to an extent, um, but it's an, in, an insanely intensely used um, 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 application. Um, it has a, over 80 million users, so it's literally every BlackBerry um, a person seems to use it. Um, we have when Foursquare put this into their into their app, they saw a 15 times increase in downloads and usage. Um, and I have a friend of mine works for them in New York, and he gave me a call and said, "Look, you know, I think your new new company there, you, you have a compromised database because that doesn't sound right." And I had a look at the numbers, and I thought, "No, that doesn't does, that doesn't sound right, indeed." Um, but I spoke to our guys, and it was indeed not 15 percent or something, but it was 15 times. Um, and um, in spite of the fact that what Foursquare did um, initially was a very, very simple thing. They only um, used that last bit here. Um, you can, if you use the API, the, the, the easiest thing you can do, and it's probably like two lines of code, is you, someone starts playing a game, your status on BBM is being updated, Falker just started playing X. That's it. You know? And on Foursquare it would be Falker just checked in at Casual Connect. Um, but you can do a lot more with it, um, and the API is open, you, 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 you um, uh, uh, can do it. So it supports asynchronous multiplayer, you can incorporate BBM chat, which I think, you know, going back to that context idea, um, the people you have in your BBM, as your BBM context, they're the people you actually chat with, um, um, uh, uh, you know, in the real world. There's context there, it's much, it's much, much easier to do this. Now, um, you know, 
does chat work in game for some games it works insanely well for in other games it doesn't do anything um so again you know that's that's a that's a design question for you guys to to answer um it's uh, uh, uh you know nothing I, I i would i would tell anyone if you if you do a bingo game by all means put chat in there or um you know card games board games seem to work extremely well rpg probably um if you do some you know, a first-person shooter or a racing game or something like this, my hunch is that um, um, uh, that in-game text chat might not work that much. I mean, in my case, it wouldn't because, um, you know, I, I just don't have the time to type. Um, <clears throat> and then I spoke about the about that. And then we have the skull loop bit, which is actually a multi-platform solution, and it still is. Um, we have, you know, since we sold the company to, to Black, we, we of course haven't been marketing it as, as aggressively on other platforms, but it's still there. As of last Monday, I think we were at 265 million users. We grow still by about three and a half million a week. Um, Black V10, unsurprisingly, um, uh, you know, will take, will probably take the lead on the, on the feature side, although at the moment um, um, Android and iOS are arguably still um, uh, 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 slightly more complete um, and um, done right this is the, uh, those are tools that you can that you you know that help you bolster um, 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 those engagement and retention um, 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 uh, 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 figures um, quite significantly I mean we've had tiny little games um, so remember when we very early on in the school loop days uh, one day we come back and we look at the stats, and there was a game called Code G, I think. It was one guy, developer, um, and it was a target shooter. 20-second gameplay. Um, you basically had a gun, hit a nice twist of combining, excuse me, combining touch and tilt um, to, to aim, but then you had two rounds of ammo, you shoot them at, at your target, and that's it. <clears throat> but what he did right afterwards a challenge, challenge your friend feature came up. And um, now, you know, for something like that, that worked well. If I, you know, if you do a, um, a, a, a I don't know, a, you know, a big massive role-playing game, you know, challenge your friend on, you know, might not actually work as well. On some, on, on this gameplay and, and, and that mechanic worked beautifully. And you could literally see the game spread through Europe. Um, um, it was on iOS and, and you could, it went first in Italy into the, I think it went to number three or so, and then it spilled over um, um, into, into um, uh, Austria, Germany, etc., and made its way um, 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 around. Very, very interesting. Um, and that was just a, a clever implementation of that. Um, so those two things um, I, I, I would suggest you should consider. Um, now, but do remember, you know, it, it is there. There are tools that can harness your design. There are not tools, you know, that that will make a turd into something glittering and great. Yeah, it's 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 only because I don't know. Temple Run, um, uh, you know, was a great success in, in you know as an eternal runner. That doesn't mean that this will work all the time. Subway Surfers did that well. But you know they had a slightly different twist, et etc. And I think they are at what twenty-five million DAUs or so. So you know they 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 seem to have um, um, found that that formula. But they did that because the game was actually well designed, um, uh, not because it also happens to be an eternal runner. And that is, it, you know, it's I, I the slide isn't, isn't being repeated, but I could actually repeat it on and on. Now on the money side, then um, because that is something you know where people say, well, Duck, you know, BlackBerry. Um, uh, uh, the old ones, they are probably from a, from an app usage. Um, uh, uh, you know, I'm not sure what, 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 where Flurry had their numbers from on the, on the flatline thing because it doesn't. But um, in particular, from a gaming perspective, you know, let's face it, it's not a, it's not a great, it wasn't a great platform. Um, however, we, we um, um, actually had, had interesting numbers, even on the old devices. I didn't put the stats up because because they, you know, I think um, will not actually translate accurately onto onto BlackBerry 10. Um, but uh, when you when you looked at the various metrics, spending per user, um, um, app usage per user, price points, premium seems to hold up a lot better on AppWorld um, than uh, on BlackBerry than on 
than on uh, than on other platforms. Um, all that is there. Our assumption is that this will probably improve because this is finally a platform where not only, you know, can you do the billing bits, but it uh, it actually is fun playing on them. Um, very quick run through, really. I mean, it's PayPal and credit card. Um, the top one, though, is probably an interesting one. Um, we're at the moment connected into the billing backends of 85 um, or 86 carriers or so. There's, there's about five to 10 a month um, um, being added. Um, revenue shares are straight 70, 30 to you guys always. Um, the user, and you don't, you don't actually have to, to um, put in multiple APIs. If you use the, the BlackBerry billing system um, uh, that's, that's, that's in the SDK, you, you basically build it in once. And um, then if a user in, God knows, Vodafone UK or so um, uh, would, would buy a game, that user would not only get the option PayPal and, and credit card, but also the option bill to carry a bill. Depending on countries, depending on 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 on, on carriers, we in, in some countries up to sixty percent of all transactions run through carrier, and that's you know if you, if you run the numbers, um, on fifty thousand foot, I think there's eight, one point eight billion credit card holders in the world. There's about six billion um, uh, uh, mobile subs in the world, which leaves a big delta of you know that you can't address if you rely on on anything that's credit card. Um, that depends on a credit card. Um, all those, all those areas, you know, if it's Latin America, if it's Southeast Asia, etc., are arguably amongst the ones that grow fastest in terms of adoption and conversion from dumb phones to smartphones. Um, so, so I think that's a, a, a that's a that's a big one. Um, it supports everything, you know, in-app purchases, subscription billing, gifting, etc. You know, we're not trying to, 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 to reinvent stuff. All, all that stuff is there for you. Um, I touch upon the marketing opportunities. I touched upon the 70,000 apps. So I go through. It's a lot of the big boys. Some of the nice small boys, they're all there. Um, so, um, you know, given how easy it is, um, maybe this is the time. Thanks very much. <laughs> Any questions? Money is important. <laughs> you mentioned that. So, what is uh, planned regards the install base of BlackBerry 10? Can you share any in insights of that? Um, no. <laughs> well, yes and no. If you if you speak to me afterwards, I can. I'm allowed. No, I'm allowed to share it verbally. I'm not allowed to to get it out. And that has simply financial reasons because I think we're our financial year ends at the end of this month and. Uh, we're entering a silent period, I think they call it. Okay. But I can, um, the one-on-one, -on -one I'm actually, I mean, this is, it's company policy. One-on-one, -on -one I'm actually allowed to speak about this, but, okay. I can, but I can't blast it out into the world. Okay, so I'll go afterwards. And okay. <laughs> chase you for that, and then you can all ask me, and I Twitter, no, <laughs> I won't, I won't. Um, regards uh, BBM and score loop, so what's the relation? So do I have to... Can I combine this, or do I have to uh, um, uh, choose score loop, or can I have a score loop <coughs> in BlackBerry messaging? Or um, this is a, this is work in progress, basically. I mean, it's it's if you want to show up in the games app, you have to have one line of score loop code in there because otherwise our, our servers won't recognize it, right? Um, you can you can integrate both, um, and depending on 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 you know again depending on your game mechanics, it might make sense to do both or only one. Um, um, the uh, BlackBerry ID, which is the which is the identifier that BBM uses, Scrollup uses as well. So that's that's that there you have that link. Um, over time, they will they will e get even closer, you know. But because Scrollup as such is still a multi-platform um, 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 solution, we didn't want to bake it too hard into BBM because otherwise it would it would lose its value for for other platforms, and then it would be a one of those open faint nightmares where people go like, what? Um, so yes, they're, they're, they're sort of like go hand in hand nicely, um, but they're not chained together. Okay, 
And um, so if I decide to port my game over to BlackBerry, so if I have an iOS version, so you've already mentioned all the tools, so it seems to be pretty easy and you said it's just one week and, and so. But it, how, how about the, uh, um, so is it a standard uh, app store process? So I just submit my app and uh, get it on mm. in one week. So it's really easy for everyone. So It's very quick. I mean, we normally take less than, a lot less than a week to, to um, put things live. Um, although at the moment, I think they're getting about a thousand submissions a day. So um, it might actually be a week. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, the process is, is very, very straightforward. Um, again, you know, it's um, um, uh, Apple changed changed the game there, and they, um, in particular, when it comes to you know getting stuff in and live, um, compared to to pre oh seven or whenever it was, um, uh, was a vast improvement. And you know, why would I try and 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 break that process? And no, by the way, you also don't have to send physical notarial certificates anymore to Waterloo, um, uh, which used to be the case. So it's, it's very straightforward. Um, uh, in particular, I mean, if you would have an Android Java-based game, so based on the, on the uh, uh, Java SDK, um, you can actually literally upload the, the, the APK as the, like that. We create a little VM to, um, to do that. Probably not that um, uh, relevant for games anymore because mo most guys, at least I know, would write na with, the, with a native one. Um, um, but the if you use if you use pure Android Java, you can literally upload the APK um, um, as such, and then the process sign up process to the to the store is 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 standard. You know, you you, you basically it's a it's a, um, a a vendor agreement, online click through, um, and um, that's it. And then all the tools are on the developer section. Um, from what I understand, they're, they're you know they're they're very clean, they're very well documented. Um, and if you have any issues, um, shoot me an email or call or whatever. Cool. Okay. So thanks a lot, Falco. Thanks, guys.